some slob like Bob Carr, oh, I'm Bob Carr, I've got opinions about everything. Um, Bob Carr, he earns his pension as an ex-premier. He has all sorts of perks like travel and he gets lots of money for all the boards he's on. How does that work? How does he keep his pension? Gillard. Now, now I've got some university post, still gets her pension from the Australian taxpayer. Why, yeah, why is that? Why is that? She's entitled to an office and some sort of you know, staff of two or something. You pay for the rest yourself. Car, yeah, first class travel. When we have a decent leader in this in this country, I, I would want this leader to say, now we, we're going to put the screws on the Australian taxpayer. This cannot last. We have a big debt and we have to pay it. And when we have finished paying it, whether it takes 10, 20, 30 years, we'll all breathe a sigh of relief if everything else in the world goes well. To show the Australian people we actually mean this, this great leader will say, no more pensions for parliamentarians, unless you don't have any other job and you'll get your pension. But it won't be the massively huge amount of money now, it'll be the same as Mr. and Mrs. Smith living, living in their fibro dumpy in one of the outer suburbs. Yeah. I'll say the I'm politicians, really. oh dear me, yes that's how it's going to be. Pension for them, pension for you. And if you touch another job, if you touch another job, no more pension. No sitting on boards in your retirement, none of those, none of those wonderful rackets that you politicians get up to. No more sucking the life out of the taxpayer.